today we have this Hypermotard 1100 Ducati. This is a 59 plate with just under 12,000 miles on the clock. Um, this is a brief video, just show you around the bike. Um, it's just come out of Valentin, or it has been out of Valentin, possibly a tiny little while. Um, and this is the first video that we've managed to get of the bike. So starting off at the front, nice plastics around the top there. Couple of very, very tiny little marks. The normal that you get from glass on a headlight. Where stones have bounced off it, etc. Nothing untoward. Nice plastics around the bottom there. Very, very tiny little marks just there. Nice forks. Really nice, really clean. Both sides. Nice tyre. A Pirelli Diablo, nice wheel, no scuffs, etc. on the wheel. And the disc looks in good order. Coming around to the side, good paintwork along the side there. There is a little mark just along there. Don't know what's gone along with that, but it doesn't make it too bad. Really good frame, bit of marking. Oh, no, let's just this is actually my fault. I am the valeter as well, and got a little bit of dirt over the frame. Carbon fibre, just there, a lot of carbon fibre on this bike. Got the engine crash bars there. Now, this cat, this is going to be possibly be painted again. Um, we did have to buy this in because it has only come with a open basket, which is also with the bike so that would possibly be painted again a little bit of scuffing underneath bottom there and just there exhaust seems all good, no rot, etc. on the exhaust. Terminoni end cans. Nice plastic on the rear. It's got Troy Bayliss signature on the back there. No reason why, I'm not too sure about that. Nice seat. No rips in that. Coming down again, more carbon fibre, rear hugger. Nice single sided wheel there. No scratches. All the lights indicators are all good. This one has gone a little bit mottled. Good point work down the side, although in certain lights you can just see very, very, looks like little bubbles. It's not, but it does look like that sort of thing with a touch as well. I think it's where it's been painted. Chain sprockets are good. 
and the swing arm also is nice. Olin's rear shock. Engine casings this side. Here's a tiny little bit of wear around the edge there. Frame is good this side. Tiniest little mark there. Here it is. Again, engine bar there. Plastics along the front there, all good. Tiny little scraps there. If you can see it, if you want to get closer, it's just there. Got the O-beans adjustable. Um, me being a Valitar, I'm to be honest, not sure what that is. Please phone up and ask. Uh, there are other people here that can can tell you more about that. Right. It has got the pull out mirrors. Let's just pull out from the side. This one seems to be good. But the other one is a little bit scarred. A few scars there. Right, we'll show you again the mileage. Just to say once it does its thing. 11.804 miles. We'll obviously go up at one or two miles just for us testing the bike. Um, and that is it. If you'd like to come view this bike, we are at Rider Motorcycles in Castle Road in Seaton We are open 9am to 5pm Tuesday to Saturday. If you can't get down at all, please don't hesitate. Give us a call and we will answer any questions about the bike. Alright, thank you very much.